guys, welcome to the River and Wildo Show. Today, we're at Esmagami Lodge. We'll be fishing with giant lures to oh, frick. Giant lures to catch monster pike. Pike are great. You could change it up a little bit though. I'm Eric Lund. Today we're heading out on Esnagami Lake. I'm gonna teach you guys how to catch walleye. I am a fish. And when we catch more fish than Eric, he has to jump off a cliff. I'm not jumping off of anything. Yeah, we'll see about that, Eric. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay, so here's our crazy plan. Step one, learn all Eric's secrets. <laughs> Step two, challenge Eric. If we catch more fish than you, will you jump in the lake? Okay, now what happens if I catch more fish? Then we have to go swimming. Step three, outfish Eric. I mean, there is two of us and only one of him. If anyone can outfish Eric, it's us. Right? That hat's a little too high. I do not care. Is this good? No, that's too low. Is this good? Good. All right, if you guys want to look silly. <laughs> okay, you guys. Have you ever been walleye fishing before? Yeah. Yes, yeah. with my dad, and he's a professional. We catch maybe seven or eight. No. No. So we're way up here in Northern Ontario, Canada. We're gonna use jigs today. See, this is what really attracts the fish. You wanna have it so the curly part is facing backwards, like this. If you turn it the other way, it tends to always get caught up like that, which is hard to catch fish. I've been doing it wrong for 30 plus years. Put a little bit of minnow on there, and we are gonna kinda of hop uh. these along the bottom so they jig up and down. Should I use this one? Should I use this jig is one I found a Swedish pimple. Pimple. Hello. I hadn't even made my first cast, and Eric already had a fish. And then, when you feel something pull back on it, it's either a fish oh. or it <laughs> is a snag. And what we have got is a little pike right here. This is about your son. Oh, cool. <laughs> I did have a fish there. You don't look ready for a fish there, buddy. It's like a guitar. Don't worry, Dad. When a fish bites, I'll be ready. What do you got, Scoogie? A fish, I think. That's a fish, buddy. Tip up. Reel in. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Yeah, that's okay. it. Can we keep it? Yes, well. There. Yes. Hey, beauty. Excellent job. I am a fish. Are we going to have to keep? Yes, it is. Oh, that's a good fighter, too. Yep. Wow, they're moving through. Yeah. <laughs> there goes the bat. That is another really nice walleye. Wow, we just got two walleye really, really fast. We have a nice pair of walleyes. You guys can catch fish. We have a long day ahead of us. So even though these guys are eating size, we're going to let them go. Water, and you let him go. Kind of like that. There he goes. Right there. Just like that, I need some water in and rock. I found a fish, so it's time for some PB and J. PB and J. Oh, yep, there's a walleye. Oh, this one's huge. Oh, <laughs> smaller than yours. <laughs> oh, okay. Got one. All right. Oh. Yeah. Hey, I got the net! <laughs> 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 the baby The open some rhino river? I bet he's Alright, give him a kiss. kiss. <laughs> <laughs> ah! There you go. No kiss for him. Amazing! We're ahead already! Our confidence was up and my dad was getting pretty excited. If we outfish Eric, he has to jump off a cliff. Eric has a fish. 
Oh, shoot. <laughs> Eric has a pick. I'm not jumping off of anything. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think we challenged the wrong guy. Oh, yeah, you want to pick him up? Oh, wow. There we go, next one. All right, whoa. That is huge. Can we keep him? Can we keep him? <laughs> no, we let the big ones go, buddy. This is a female walleye. The bigger ones are females, and they lay a lot of eggs, so we always let them go. Can I? You can. Okay, there, that's, that's balanced. There, there you go. Nice and easy. There he goes. Bye-bye. All right. Give me some slime. That's better. All right. Ah, oh, gross. Slime. The key is to let the jig get down to the bottom. That's where the fish are and then lift it about a foot or so up and down off the bottom. So the walleye just kind of follow it up, up and down, up and down, and then they just can't help it, and they grab it. I see, River, that you have perfected the jigging technique. Yep. <laughs> You'll never catch me. Hey guys, it's me, Wild Wolf. It's time for a how-to. Okay, everybody, here's how you start a pull start motor. With adult supervision. Of course. You gotta make sure you have gas. The gas is full. Make sure it's set to run. Make sure the gear is in neutral. Pump the gas. Pull the choke. Give it a big jolt. Put the choke in, and now you're ready to go. We're not that far behind, and Eric looks nervous, doesn't he? <sighs> We're gonna see if you can eat and catch fish on Kevin's Island. Oh, this doesn't sound good. So we are here at our destination called Kevin's Island. Land ho! Nice jump. This one here was named Kevin because a former guide got lost. And he spent two nights on this island, eating blueberries and surviving. It was a beautiful spot, and although we saw some fish, Yoo-hoo! We couldn't catch any. I think Eric just wanted us off the water, so we couldn't catch up to him. <laughs> but it wasn't a complete loss. At Kevin's Island, I got a cool quartz rock, and I got a fish. I thought it was about that big. Yeah, but he got off and I had follow. Now looking at Kevin Island, I think Kevin left something there. There's a fishing rod, there's a hat, and it looks like a container of bait there. Wow, who left? I did. I guess we'll have to rename this Wilder's Island. Bum, bum, bum. Of course, everywhere we stopped, Eric caught more fish. And it counts as numero number six. Eric caught a tiny little pike perch. Okay, maybe we're a little bit behind. But the walleyes are biting, so let's do this. Whoa! Whoa! Should we just lift them in? Maybe we'll put these guys in the There we go. Should we keep that one? Look at that Cody. Oh, wow, that's huge. Can we keep that? Yeah. Wow, that's a great fish, River. You're next, buddy. I already have got a fish, though. Oh, wow. Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Water, you're obsessed. Of course, Dad's got the net all messed up. Okay, we got fun. Woo! Oh, Wild's got another one. Get that net ready. Oh, this one feels good. I want another. Wow, that is good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's a wee one. Why? He was a wee one. Okay, so we're going to put your hand under his belly. Give him a kiss and throw him out. I'm going with him. Oh, yeah. It feels like a good one. Perfect size. I'd like to say we outfished Eric, but he's sort of like a fishing machine. 
In the end, Liv and I caught over 50 fish. And Eric, well, we sort of lost track. With the contest over, it was time to count our take home. So how do we do, guys? You want to count them? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you guys know how to catch walleye now? I think so. <laughs> the wiggly walleye. <laughs> now it's time to play some fish. Uh, Which you oh, probably yeah. won't want to see. Uh, so oh, there will yeah. just be a few minutes oh. of play. At Ethnic Emmy, they clean the fish for you. So while they did that... Ignite the rocket! Ignite, Ignite the rocket! We had a rocket fire. <laughs> Three, two, one! Whoa, look at that! Wow! <laughs> there you go. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. What an amazing day. And about that competition. So Eric did catch more fish than us, so it's time to jump in the lake. Look what I caught. Three, two, one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. <laughs> You're supposed to jump. Well, they have big eyes, so they can see well, even deep underwater. I swear to keep it. Can we keep them? Can we keep them? Can we keep it? Because they want to keep the. <laughs> Please smash that like button and click our logo to subscribe. And if you could tell a million of your friends about our show, that would be great. And tell your grandma too. Yeah, don't forget grandma.